Hello, my name is John and welcome to my Game 81 show. This video is going to be a recap of me visiting a friend of mine in New York City. His name is John. He's got an awesome YouTube channel called Mamecade. If you guys are like arcades and, and pinball machines like I do, I really encourage you guys to check him out. And I was so impressed. He invited me to his place. I was so impressed by his crazy collection of pinball machines. And quite frankly, I was very jealous of his collection because he had some cr very rare and expensive machines. And his knowledge of, of his machines that he owned and just the pinball machines in general really blew me away. So I, I wanted to show, share this with you guys because I think you guys will be equally impressed. While I was there, I also uh, was a friend of mine, Sid. His name, YouTube screen name is Old School NYC Gamer. I'll put a link to both Sid's and John's YouTube channels below. I really encourage you guys, if you have the time, check out the links, check out their channels, show some support, and subscribe to these guys. Both are really great guys, very down to earth, and I know you guys will enjoy the channel as much as I do. So without any further ado, let's take a closer look at John's collection of pinball machines, and I hope you guys enjoy. Take care. We're in New York. You got Sid, old school NYC gamer. What's up, Sid? What's going on, guy? I got John, main cage. John, what's, how you what's doing, up? man? I'm good. I'm good, John. Well, thank you for having us over, man. So, show us your collection of pinball machines. This is sure, awesome. Sure, sure. Come on in, man. We got one of the uh, classic pinball machines. We got the Adams Family here. Which is a great game. Yeah, this is one of the top-selling pinballs of, of all time. Top-selling, right? yeah, absolutely. Uh, it has uh, all the voices. Christopher Lloyd does the voice of uh, Uncle Fester in this one. It's fantastic. Nice. This like one's that. got a lot of little add-ons that I put in here, like the lighted Uncle Fester. This is not original to the game. This is not original. The graveyard is not original. Cousin It is not original. The bear and all these little toys that you put so on. You, you here. just add it on, right? You buy them aftermarket. Okay, cool. That's cool. Awesome. Over here, this is a haunted house that I'm still working on. Cool thing about this game is it's got multi levels. When you look down, you've got three different levels that you play on, hmm. which is very cool. Yeah, four flippers too. Essentially. Four flippers because this other one is handling the lower one. And what's great about the lower one is it's reversed. Mm -hmm. Flippers on the other side. And this is uh, what is this like a touch one of those? This is a touch screen. Yeah, this is really good. You see these a lot in bars and whatnot. This is set to free play right now, but it has a whole bunch of games. Maybe fifty different games that you can play. Wow. The wife loves this one. Yeah. This was in her office for the longest time, and then we just got That's it out. Cool. It's too big. South Park. Two settings. You've got the clean setting, and you've got the uh, rated R setting with uh, who was it? Terrence and Philip. You know, like, really? So the swearing shit. You've got the swearing. You've got the farting at the end, uh, or you've got the clean version as a setting that you can do it family friendly or whatever, depending on what kind what of What is your set to? The adult version. <laughs> ah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the Rings, very cool game, lots of nice gizmos on this one. Uh, this is one of the newer machines we have here. Oh, sorry. That's cool. And when did that come out? It's a Stern. Yeah, Stern. Early 2000s. They paid a lot of money probably for this licensing. Yeah, this is in 2000s. I forget what year specifically probably says it somewhere on it. Not yeah, sure. that's cool. Cool stuff. Uh, okay, Circus Voltaire, another cool game. This one is interesting because it has the the digital DMD underneath the play field as yeah. opposed to on the top there on the head. Yeah. And it's got a lot of nice stuff here. This is an actual playable contraption in the game. It's got a lot of magnets. Yeah, this thing actually lifts up and... Uh, yeah, this goes under the play field. Yeah, that's captures cool. the ball. Very is cool. this normal? Did you add this, or is that? No, no, that that with the game, the neon comes with the game, and you can have different neons. Sometimes you'll find a blue one, sometimes you find a green one, a red one. Cool. You can change that if you want. Cool. And Cactus Canyon, uh, another rare game, the last game that uh, Williams put out, uh, Bally, I should say, before they they changed to Pinball 2000, mm -hmm. and then they closed down. So 98, 99, yeah, 98, yeah, right. This is pretty cool. A lot of fun. And there's a. Explain the whole uh, gunslinger thing here. Okay. The draw. Normally on this game, there would be two plastic guns here. I'm missing the guns. But what the, underneath the guns, there are these two pegs that come out of the play field and hold your ball. And then they'll issue you a challenge to uh, have a gunfight. And one of the four uh, targets would pop out of the ground. You don't know which one it will be. And you have to shoot that within so many minutes. Cool. It's very cool. Cool. On this side, we have Black Knight 2000. Uh, one of the faster, older pinball machines. Uh, it's got a nice feature where it has a magna save, where there's a magnet there. If you think the ball's going to get drained, you can catch it 
with the Magna Seal. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's very neat. Once you use it, it's gone, though, until you replenish it. So it's an extra feature. Okay. It's a very fast game. A lot of good music in this cool. one. Cool. Whitewater. This yeah, is look at that marquee. Game. That's cool. The Waterfall marquee. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, this has got a movable Bigfoot. His head goes around, and it's actually a diverter, depending on what... <laughs> Oh, he got mad. Depending on what I do, <laughs> he moves his hands forward and he'll divert the ball oh, different that's directions. Cool. Yeah, depending on what's going really on. Cool. Look at this. Uh, this all. Yeah, this is a hard shot to make because you have to hit it with enough force that it actually goes up and over the the ramp. Wow. It's a cool shot. Uh, and in the Simpsons pinball party, there's a couple of Simpsons pinball games. This is the more popular of the two, but unfortunately, it's under repair right now. The first one was by. God, was it Gottlieb or who made the first one? Uh, uh, Data East, I believe. Da yeah, yeah, Data East, that's right. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Downstairs we have more in John's uh, basement Messy. arcade. Messy, messy basement. <laughs> we got James. Hi. What's going on? <laughs> All right, uh, so explain. This is Twilight Zone. Twilight Classic. Zone. Yeah, this is a fantastic game. This is known as a wide body. This is uh, actually literally wider than the standard pinball machine, which was a, a real bitch to get in here because okay. of the fact. Uh, this has got a lot of modifications. The gumball machine has actual gumballs in there. Oh, and wow. And really? lights that light up. We've got the uh, the robot, Roby the robot there. We've got this Twilight Zone that's backlit through there. That's also a modification. Uh, this um, slot machine is a modification that actually spins. Uh, this rocket is another modification where the tail would light up when this fires out. Wow. There's a lot of mods on here. This machine is a lot of fun. And also there is a porcelain-like ball in this game that is not obviously metal. Because there's a part where it gets into this section where it's affected by magnets. But if you have the porcelain ball, you display without having the magnets to interfere oh, wow. with your game. Wow. So that's called the power, that white ball. And it's very cool. Uh, it just I, randomly pops up. It, well, it? it's it's in. There's a several balls in the machine, and you never know where it's going to yeah, be yeah. in there. It could yeah. be the first ball. It could be the last ball. That's cool. Yeah, it's a lot of coolness. Uh, there is a problem with this game, however, right now. Uh, for those that know pinball, I've got a bridge rectifier problem. That when I hit the flipper, oh wait a minute, are we actually going to get a game here? Maybe. Let's see. I don't know. I think it's going to shut off. Yeah, see that? Yeah. It restarts. So that's huh. a bridge rectifier problem that has to be addressed. Okay. So, sadly, that's the problem with that one. Moving along, we have Indiana Jones, which is another wide body machine. Uh, this one has the cool gizmo, is it's a gun that fires the ball mm -hmm. instead of a plunger. And we've got some modifications on this game also. We've got an actual propeller that spins on the biplane. Um, we've got, uh, let's see, did I do any other mods on here? Oh, yeah. The gold trim. The gold trim, uh, gold lock bar, gold legs, and gold balls. Also, in this section here was modified. Originally, Williams had designed the game with these treasures to be lit up, but in the production of the machine, they never made the hardware for it, so people have made an uh, aftermarket that you can actually cut out the wood that's behind here and put the light sockets in. The, so the programming was in the game, but they just never put the hardware. Huh. So yeah. it actually works as long as you have the hardware rigged yeah. up. So that's cool. Uh, one of the cool things about this game is you have a nice ball lock here that's an idle that spins around, releases the ball. And then when you get into this play field here, this actually moves and tilts by hitting the uh, flipper buttons. Hmm. So you'll see randomly different lights and you have to make the ball go without falling through the pit. Kind of like a, an Indiana Jones kind of, uh, you know, puzzle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a very cool game. They have a, didn't Stern make a new Indiana Jones too? There's a new back? one. Yeah, there's a new Indiana Jones. Uh, it's not called Pinball Adventure. I think it's just called Indiana, Indiana Jones. I haven't had a chance to play that new one. I yeah. don't know how it compares to this it's one. Different. It's different. This is better. But it's yeah, better? Yeah, yeah, this is better. But this is a good one. Uh, Black Rose. This is an old Bally game. But a pirate theme. Well, one of the neat features about this game is it has this cannon, which is a ball capture that's underneath the play field, and it rotates slowly, and you have to fire your cannon and shoot the ball into this hole at the appropriate time. This actually fire lifts up, and the oh, ball wow. comes flying out of there. And then it returns through this cannon, which is being fired at you broadsides, and comes down here. It's very cool. Hits this and then falls over. That's really cool. It's a lot of fun. This is cool, cool too. It's a bally one? It's a bally one, yeah. We've got the uh, the venerable Dragon's Lair, 
This is an original yeah. cab. Um, this one can be converted to play Space Ace uh, by a flick of a switch in the back, and you change the actual disc. Uh, this is not a, an emulated game. This is actually on a laser disc, one of those big 33 mm -hmm. laser discs. This is a fun game. Cool. Uh, Spy Hunter. I did a video on Spy Hunter, how this is one of the few arcade games that you really can't emulate properly because you have the, the feel of, a, of the yoke and all the fire buttons and a pedal that controls the speed of your car and of course the gear shifting. So to play this, you have to actually have the original one to, yeah. to really feel the, yeah. the actual game. Yeah, that's cool. This Classic. is a great game. Cool. We've got Medieval Madness, which uh, everyone who's a collector of pinballs should at one point in their career have this machine. It's fantastic. It's got wonderful voice acting in this game. And some of the features here, the dragon's wings have been changed. These are these translucent wings. The original just were red wings. And uh, I think these rails are gold painted where the originals weren't. And if you can zoom in, John, on the castle, on the original castle, it's a very dull and matted gray, just plastic. Mm -hmm. This one's very shiny. You can see I hand painted this castle mm. and then I lacquered the whole thing. The wow. green moss, the brown on the ladder down there and that shine. Uh, that's all. I took it apart, took it out and lacquered. That's awesome. A lot of people like would kill me, you know, that I did that. I, I'm of the school that I don't mind modifying some of my games. The purists, you know, right. don't like that. I'll put modifications and, and hack around with it and have a little fun. The, the the gimmick on this one is this castle has a drawbridge that drops, catches the ball, and when you destroy the castle, these towers here all rock and shake yeah, and yeah. collapse. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And Tina Fey does a voice work for some of this, right? She does the princess that is trapped in this castle tower there. And you have to get up there by shooting it up here. And there's a, a metal diverter there that is up right now. So the ball would not go in the castle. But at the right time, with the right moves, that diverter drops. And the shot goes right into there. And you yeah. save the princess. Cool. Very cool. This is a uh, Dungeons & Dragons machine. This is an older machine. I just recently made a video of this on the inner workings of it to break pinball into my channel. This is a lot of fun, this game. And the gimmick on this game is the teleport. Uh, you shoot a ball here, it captures the ball behind this dragon, and it'll shoot it out a different place. So it's like the ball teleported. Oh, it's that's, cool. Neat. that's yeah. cool. And then there's a save over here where you can notice there's some extra buttons here. Mm -hmm. This save button will actually put up a diverter here and save your ball from dropping mm. down. But you have to use your fingers to, okay. to capture it. Cool. Uh, that's a fun game. Awesome. And of course, there's a nice topper up there also that has a dragon that lights up. And nice. Like he lives in a cave. Over here is Theater of Magic. It's one of the faster pinball games. It's a lot of fun. It has this magic theme. The modifications I've made to this was the Tiger Saw actually spins, where the original one was just a solid silver piece. This is now a gold mirrored piece. Uh, I, oh, the chain that goes around the trunk that's a modification i think that's about it on this game that's modded there's a uh, a slight problem with this uh underneath the play field there is a special sensor that detects the ball I'm having some trouble with the mm. the ball being detected and there's a potentiometer that you have to adjust i have to fine tune it that might be all it needs cool. of course there's a pachinko machine here uh, a popeye themed pachinko machine Oh, yeah. This came from Japan. The animations on the screen are actually in, in, in Japanese. Japanese yeah. You see Popeye screaming in Japanese. Yeah. Uh, this is a lot of fun. It's cool. All the balls are in the back. And these are what pachinko balls look like. Huh. Yeah, that's cool. What's the object of pachinko then, too? Uh, the, well, you take this knob here, which is kind of like a shower, and you got to get the right speed, and it'll shoot the balls up. If you go too much, the balls will shoot and overshoot and go right down and drain. You want to get them in these pins here, and they kind of go down, and you want to get them in certain spots at the right time, and you'll be led by the animations on okay. the screen on what you're doing and how it's working out. Cool. Interesting. Very popular in Japan. Uh, on this side, we have Granny and the Gators, which is a hybrid pinball video game. This is a great game. You can see it's two screens, two levels. You start off playing this uh, this old lady up the Amazon in a canoe uh, with alligators chasing her. 
and when you go off the screen at certain spots, the game then moves down to the pinball section. Mm -hmm. And in the pinball section, you can get uh, more ammunition for the video game section, plus you get score bonuses and gold. And gold is used to buy uh, the drawbridge to open up so you don't have to have problems passing uh, the drawbridges when there's an alligator chasing you. Cool. Uh, this is a real fun game as well. The modifications I did on this one is these slingshots here. I put a rubber... Uh, washer around there, those white rock. The original one just has plastic, and the ball would just hit it and kind of go dead. Mm -hmm. So it has a little bit more action now. Cool. And then over here, I have a main arcade machine that I made back in 2000. One of my first projects. It's not the prettiest machine, but it's kind of cool. Um, we've got three joysticks set up. Each button has a function like credits, pause, restart. We've got the speakers up on top. And the computer's down at the bottom. The whole point of this was I wanted it to kind of look like furniture, so yeah. I polyurethaned it, stained it, all that. That's cool. Uh, these are interchangeable. I have a different control panel with a trackball if I want to play Tron or oh, some nice, of those nice. other games. So they're interchangeable. How many, how many games do you have loaded on here? This one's only got about 400. This is a very, very old version of MAME. The operating system is Windows 95. This is back oh, in 2000, yeah. and I haven't really modified yeah. it. But I will do make a, a new one eventually. Cool. Over here we have a couple of skill slot machines. If you're familiar with these, they're kind of like slot machines, but instead of pulling a handle, you just start them rolling and then you stop them by pushing mm -hmm. these buttons. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. And explain these. These are this is really cool. Oh, I've got a lot of animation cells. These are uh, this is from the Secret of Nim, signed by uh, Gary Goldman and Don Bluth. And there's the certificate of authenticity. And this is the end scene for Dragon's Lair. These are the original cells that were in the video game. And we've That's got cool. a couple others. One, and on the wall, we have a whole bunch as well. Way cool. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of them. And I will showcase these also on my channel eventually. Nice. Thanks for the tour, John. You're welcome. And where can people find you? <laughs> we're not open for business. No, I know. But as far as your channel goes, your, your YouTube channel and all that. Uh, Mamecade. Mamecade, easy to remember, and uh, M-A-M-E-C-A-D-E on YouTube. Awesome. Cool. Check him out. He's a great guy.